She's been featured at the Comedy Store. Ladies and gentlemen, make a lot of noise for one of our local favorites, Miss Fiona Reed. Woo! More noise, more, more, more. Yeah! That's good to know. Uh, so I read tarot cards. Woo. Nice. Yeah, in case you wanted to know anything unlikable about me. <laughs> I mostly do it for my friends. I kind of stopped doing it for my friends who do stand-up comedy, because, like, I just got sick of telling people about how bleak their futures are. <laughs> like, they should know, they don't need a psychic. <laughs> but uh, I was reading one friend's cards, and he had a very oddly specific card. Uh, it said he was going to be experiencing a death within the, next, within the next six months or so. And I said, dude, what the hell is that about? And he said, my mom has brain cancer. Oh, and I was like, oh shit. I am so good at this! <laughs> I should have charged him money. Why am I doing this shit for free? Your mom's gonna die, man. <laughs> I don't know, uh... My uncle has brain cancer. This is my shtick. I just have 20 minutes of brain cancer jokes. Just so you know, guys, leave if you're not into this cancer stuff. Did he get cancer for karma for my last joke? Who knows? Probably. <laughs> I do believe in that shit, but um, no, it's great, because, uh, you know, it's like he's been playing Russian roulette of cancer. Oh, testicular, oh, it's in my bones, oh, it's in my brain. Like, he's had it before, he'll have it again. No surprises there. <laughs> but um, he was getting a surgery, my mom calls me up, and she goes, hey, and by the way, I was raised by my mother, extremely atheist, like, we don't fuck with God. <laughs> and she was like, are you going to pray for your uncle today? And I was like, no. <laughs> you kidding, lady? And she was like, why? And I'm like, well, first of all, like, how I was raised. But also, like, doesn't God, like, hate women? <laughs> like, isn't that why we have, like, periods and childbirth and have to date men or whatever? <laughs> like, I thought he punishes us. Also, like, I don't go to his weekly parties, like. <laughs> so I'm not gonna, like, call someone up and be like, I know I've missed, like, all 187. I don't know, I don't do math. But, like, I got a big favor to ask God. But, uh, I don't know, I was arguing with a friend about it, because I think I have some great points about why not to pray. I don't want to bring it up to him, because he's also spiteful. He's gonna be like, oh, you love that guy? Fuck him, he's dead, you whore. <laughs> But uh, I was talking to a very religious uh, friend about it, just to argue more, and he was like, well, God definitely hates you. <laughs> That's why I do comedy. But, uh, but what if he loves your uncle? You should pray because he loves your uncle. And I said, if he loves my uncle, he'll kill him so they can party in heaven. <laughs> and then he was like, I don't think you understand who God is. God is really, because you're just thinking of the first Bible. God really is a different man. I'm like, do you expect me to believe that God repented for his sins for season two of the Bible? <laughs> that deserved a bigger laugh. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm a super good person. <laughs> just thought you all should know that. But, uh, you know, I'm a good person. I have proof. I have stories. Uh, like, last Saturday night, I was uh, walking around late at night, um, saw a couple of girls, and they were super intoxicated. And uh, they just were trying to get home. And guys, I helped them. I walked, I walked over to their car. I leaned in, blew into the breathalyzer. <laughs> their car started up, and they went home. Now. Um, so I learned how to be a horse OBGYN. Yeah, a horse pussy doctor for the men in the crowd. Um, 
which was great because my boss was like, so you just take the ultrasound thing, you get in there, you feel around, and she's like, your turn now. And I'm like, no problem, because a horse pussy, at least 10 times the size of a normal woman pussy, at least I hope. So I'm like, no problem, I got this. I walk up to the horse pussy and I'm like, And she's like, it's right there, sweetheart. I'm like, oh, thank you, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how to enter a pussy. <laughs> Do you know how embarrassing that shit is? <laughs> My boss had to stand there and be like, oh, you poor thing. You've never had a good penetration in your life. And I can't judge men now. <laughs> I can't be like, really? You can figure it out, Chad? <laughs> I mean, besides that, uh, I really fucking hate sex. 
the horses didn't ruin it for me. <laughs> it's just how I've always felt. It's just that it's a, it's boring, it's repetitive, and uh, no matter how much I beg a man, he'll never hit me as hard as my family did. <laughs> Doctor was my nickname in high school. <laughs>